Hey, I'm Lindsay, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, which if you, if you would like to start watching, you can click right here. You would know that I quit my job, sold my car, gave away everything I owned so I could travel the world on an indefinite adventure. That is a mouthful. So the last video I was in Alaska, if you'd like to watch it, it's this link right here. If you haven't seen it, you should totally check it out. And if you have, this is where we left off. After Alaska, I flew from Juneau to Washington, D.C. to pick up my younger brother, Tommy and we hopped a flight to Stockholm, Sweden. If you don't know much about Stockholm, that's okay, neither did I, uh, but I did know it was the cheapest flight I could get from Washington DC to Europe at the time. Stockholm is known as the Venice of the North, but it's also known for its outdoor activities. Kayaking, biking, even a ropes course right outside the city. And we plan to do it all, even this swing, especially this swing. And when we got off the plane in Sweden, this is what the city looked like. That's the thing about travel. You can have all of these amazing plans and you actually get to your destination. You never really know what's gonna happen. And in this case, we had rain. Lots and lots of rain. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And when travel gives you rain, you go to a museum. The Vasa Museum. The Vasa is a Swedish ship that was built around 1628. It sank on its maiden voyage and was preserved at the bottom of the ocean until it was dug up and restored in 1961. The museum is dedicated to preserving the ship and is one of Sweden's most popular tourist attractions. We ended up having a really good time at the Vasa Museum and although it was really nice to stay dry, it was only a matter of time until we wanted to get outside no matter what the weather. There are the kayaks that I wanted to do. But it's boring rain! So instead we went to Skansen, which is an open air museum and zoo in Stockholm, Sweden. It's like walking through back in time, Sweden! I'm learning so much and I'm having fun, even though I'm soaking wet. Skansen has 150 traditional farms and houses to show what life was like in Sweden in the 18th and 19th centuries. And the zoo is home to indigenous animals to the country, like bears Whoa. and reindeer. The exhibits are immersive and interactive. Like, really interactive. Wisconsin was a really fun day, but probably the best part about it was the fact that we spent it with my friend Daniel and his two little kids. After a cold rainy day in Wisconsin, we all went back to Daniel's apartment and we made a traditional Swedish dinner at his house. Well, traditional might be an overstatement, but we had meatballs, real Swedish meatballs. Homemade mashed potatoes and fried pickles. I think those were Tommy's addition to the meal. I'm not sure if fried pickles are regular on the Scandinavian palate. When I look back at my time in Sweden and I think of the memories and what I did, I don't really remember the Vasa Museum or really even much of Skansen, but what I really do remember is hanging out with Daniel's kids and, and making dinner in the house and feeling at home somewhere so far away from home and spending time with friends. But the nature of travel is movement and the next thing I know we're hopping a flight from Sweden to Germany and we are on the Autobahn. We met up with my friend Melvin in beautiful Cologne. Cologne, Germany is a 2,000 year old city along the Rhine River. The Cologne Cathedral dominates the skyline and gives way to stunning views over the city. But it wasn't just sightseeing. I mean, we're in Germany. Cheers. So of course we have to drink some German beer. The next day my brother and I borrowed Melvin and his wife's bikes and we got to ride all around the suburbs where they live. It was so beautiful and we had absolutely no idea where we were going. So we just kind of kept on going straight. We made new friends, got lost, found our way, and before we knew it, it was already time to leave. It's never fun to say goodbye, but we hopped a train from Germany to the Czech Republic. So many countries, so many friends. Goodbye Germany. Hello Tunisia? Yup, Tunisia. Find out why next week. It's kind of crazy because we fly so far to go places and then when I look back, I don't really think of all the touristy things we did, but I think about the time that I spent with my friends and just telling stories and learning about them and their lives that really stuck with me longer than anything else. And that's kind of weird, right? What do you guys think? Is it where you are or who you're with that matters most when you travel? Or maybe is it a little bit of both? <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm so grateful. Exactly what I was hoping for. That's a good meatball.